LA is very pretty, isn't it, everybody? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's like a prison with a palm tree in the background. And uh, I was living here 11 years straight, miserable every day, if you can imagine that. Can anybody relate to that at all? Yes, good, because it's so much fun. And uh, one day I was in like the worst mood ever, right? I'm like, I'm either gonna kill somebody or I'm gonna take a sauna. You know, because I didn't have any money to move, you know, so. So I go in the sauna, you know, and it's at the gym, which is also very fancy, as you can imagine. And um, there was two women in there, and they're talking, you know, which is what you're hoping for when you're ready to snap, right? <laughs> and one of the women had like this dyed blonde hair, you know? It was just perfect and silky, and swinging across her big fake boobs, right? And she had these huge fake lips, right? Which is not at all distracting to anybody, am I right? I don't know, go ahead, I'm listening, go ahead. <laughs> right? And then she had fake calves. I swear to God, can you imagine that? <laughs> Never enough, NLE. <Ellie. laughs> me, fake calves. All right. Then she had a fake tan covering everything. She looked just perfect, just like Malibu Barbie, right? Not only did she have all that going on, but she also had a whistle voice, which who doesn't enjoy a good whistle voice, right? <laughs> She's like, so anyways. <laughs> I saw this guy my resume read. He was like such an. Because he did not call me, he did not email me. Like, it's like you're just like so obnoxious. I was saying so too much, too much. I'm like, I couldn't believe it, right? So now she's in there with this crazy whistle voice, but she's also in there exercising in the sauna. Never enough in LA. Hello. Now I don't know if you ever heard a woman exercising naked and sweaty before. No, but it has its own sound. She's like, I was just like, just like so frustrated, Sarah. Just like sometimes, sometimes I just, I just want to give up. Do you know what I'm saying? It's too much. It's too much. Oh, whatever. <laughs> This is true. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and saunas are small, everybody. And uh, it was very weird. Me and this girl were in there who I didn't know. But we couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it. It was what it was. It was what we thought it was. You know what I mean? We felt like we were eating her out. Neither of us were hungry. Do you know what I mean? You know, so I realized, you know, I had to say something to that thing over there, you know, because I didn't have time or money to go anywhere else, right? So I go, excuse me. Can you please be quiet? And she goes, <laughs> I'm sure. This isn't a library. I'm like, a, a, a no, uh, it isn't a bird sanctuary either. <laughs> you know, but she decides she's going to be nice, you know, so she decides she's going to keep it down and whisper. Now, I don't know if you ever heard anybody whisper with a whistle voice. It's impossible. <laughs> she's like, That's a true LA story.